Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. I'm Anna and in this video I am going to show you the Brother A65 sewing machine. I'm going to talk about its features and functions, what's in the box, have a look at its sewing capabilities and then talk a bit about the warranty and support. Now we've split those into chapters so if there's one particular section you're interested in feel free to jump straight to that. So the Brother A65, it's very easy to use, so it's perfect for beginners. It's also great for experienced sewers in terms of the features that it has and the stitch options. It's a standard size machine, so it has six inches of space to the right of the needle. It's got 60 different stitch options, and they're all listed here, and six different buttonholes, which are a one-step buttonhole. And they're easily selected with this large dial on the front. You can change the width and the length of the stitch and the maximum stitch width on this machine is seven millimeters. You've got speed control and a start stop button. You also have an automatic thread cutter and needle up, needle down. Now you can set that for when you stop sewing for the needle to either stay down or the needle to stay up, whichever you prefer. You've got a locking stitch and a reverse. This machine also has a twin needle setting, which is a safety function to stop you selecting a stitch that would cause the needle to break. It's got a drop-in bobbin system, so nice and easy to load. You can see when it's running out, and it also has the quick set there, so no need to draw your bobbin thread up. It's got a really easy one-action needle threader, which I will show you in a bit. It's got a button on the back to drop your feed dogs for any free motion or darning work, and it also has a free arm, so you just pop that off and that's it there and then there is storage in the accessory tray for all the different accessories and presser feet that come with it which are the standard foot zipper or piping foot one for blind hem foot for overcasting a fancy stitch foot one for sewing on buttons and your one step buttonhole foot it also comes with a range of accessories and they all pack away neatly in this little accessory bag. You've also got your foot control, your power lead and a manual. And there's also a hard cover which fits over the top of the machine. So perfect for storing away or transporting. And the weight of this machine is 6.5 kilos. So let's see how it sews. The machine is very easy to thread. Just Pop your spool on the spool pin and then add a spool cap and then everything is numbered for you. So everything with the solid line is for the needle and then everything with the dotted line is for your bobbin. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six in the top needle guide. And then the needle threader, you go under number seven, cut the excess off on the threader Pull the lever and hey presto, your needle is threaded. To thread the bobbin, you just pop the cover off, drop it in with the tail of thread to the left, oops, and then you go under the lip and around this quick set. Now as I say, when you're around there, you don't need to draw up your bobbin thread. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. You can just start sewing. When you first switch the machine on, it will always default to the standard straight stitch. Now I'm not gonna use the foot pedal. I'm gonna use the start stop button and I'm currently on the slowest speed setting. To midway. and then up to fast. And then when I want to reverse, I just keep my finger on it for as far back as I want to go. And then cut the threads. It automatically raises the needle, cuts the thread, and you can just take your work out. And then that's your nice, neat, straight stitch, both top and bottom. So if I wanted a zigzag now, I just find the zigzag here, which is number seven, and then I just turn the dial to number seven. If I wanted to change the length and the width, width I'm just simply moving these up or down. So a standard 
looks like. So I'm just securing that. Cut my threads. And there you go. That's your standard zigzag, top and bottom. Let's take a look at the one step buttonhole. So I've popped the foot on and brought the sensor down and then I've chosen a standard buttonhole. But as I say, there's six different buttonhole options depending on the type of fabric you're using. So you just pop your fabric underneath, pop the foot down. Now always go about mid speed for a buttonhole and off you go. And then cut your threads. And there's your nice neat buttonhole, both top and bottom. There's also quite a few decorative stitch options. So I've popped the fancy stitch foot on there and let's go for number 51. That's quite a nice one. Quite good for being decorative, like around the flap of a bag or around a pocket or a collar. Or this one's quite nice for doing a stitch in the ditch as well. Now you will have noticed that I pressed the locking stitch button there. That's because it has another function, which is a pattern end. So when you're sewing a decorative stitch, when you want to finish, you can press that one and it will complete the whole pattern before it stops sewing. And there you can see that's a nice, nice decorative stitch there on the top and then identical on the bottom. Moving on to jersey fabric. This one's got quite a bit of stretch to it. So I've popped a jersey needle in and then we'll choose the right stitch for this fabric, which is the lightning stitch. So number six, and then a slightly longer stitch length. Let's go three and a half for this one. Pop that in. And you can see how it's sewn that and it's nice and flat and the seam is also really strong in there and you've got nice stretch along with the stitch. And then lastly, we'll look at layers that it can handle. So I've got some denim fabric here. So I've popped a jeans needle on and we'll go back to the standard straight stitch. And because this fabric is quite dense, I'm gonna increase the stitch length so we're on two layers at the moment. And you can see it's sewn through that with no problem at all. Nice neat stitch top and bottom. So we'll double that over and go through four layers. And again, nice and neat, top and bottom, that's the bottom one there. So we'll double over once more. Um. 
And again, it's sewn through that really well. So that's eight layers there. So I hope that gives you an insight into the capabilities of the Brother A65. It really is a good machine that will tackle a range of different projects, whatever it is that you're making. It comes with a three year warranty and there is a card in the box that explains that all to you. And don't forget we're here. So anything you might need, any questions, just get in touch via email, telephone or on live chat. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.